a beautiful looking KW. Wow. Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Welcome back to Riding Along with Dan. It's uh, Tuesday morning, 1021. It's uh, 40 degrees outside. I just got done uh, dumping my first load about 20 minutes ago. Beautiful blue skies today. Really, really is. Really is nice weather for the month of February. But uh, it's chilly out though, man. It's only this morning I left the house, it was 29. And now we're up to like 38, 39 degrees. So it's really not that warm, but it looks nice outside. He 
he said nothing. to me. He said, you're not a driver. So uh, then I got my Class A, and then I was good to go. But I like what I do, man. I get up early, I know, every morning, and sometimes I complain about it. But you know what? Sometimes you get a little bit, you know, you're tired. Your body is tired. I've been out here working all day. It's cold outside. You know, you're pushing them heavy containers. And, uh, you know, it's not easy working. It's not easy work at all. And for anybody who wants to do this kind of work, I give them a lot of credit. Because I've been doing it all my life. I'm going to be 57 years old. And if you want to get into this business, I work for a sanitation company. It's not like it was back in the day. Back in the day, you didn't get the benefits. You didn't get 401k. You got nothing. You got a paycheck. That's what you got. There was no unions. These sanitation companies, they didn't want a union. They just wanted you to come do your job. Probably ended up got some vacation time. And they would actually ask you, uh, you know, if you don't take a vacation, man, I'll pay you for the week. You know, that kind of stuff. But it's come a long way. Uh, these bigger companies uh, provide you and give you a lot more than a little company. And when you're older, like myself, getting older, you got to think about, you know, Insurances, medical, dental, eyeglass, you need all that stuff later on in life. When you're young and gung ho, you don't care about that stuff. All you care about is a paycheck. Where's my money? Show me the money. That's all you care about. But like I said, the bigger companies like IWS, Republic, Waste Management, all of those companies, they offer you a lot more. And uh, for anybody, you know, that's starting a family or has young kids, it's something to think about. Because, you know, when you take your kids to the doctor, because I know it's not cheap, it's, it's expensive. And then when you start going to the dentist, that's very expensive. So, like I said, I'm very passionate about my job. I do it the best way I know how. I like working for this company. I'm all about safety. If I see something wrong or something not right, I always bring it to the uh, mechanic's attention. And honestly, that's what every driver should do. And write everything up at the end of the day, what you see wrong. But the problem is today, some drivers are in such a hurry to go home. To do what? I don't know. But they don't write anything up. They don't tell the mechanic, and then they come in the next day to wonder why their truck is not running. You know, it's hard to tell the younger guys you got to stay on it. It's your truck, your responsibility. You got to clean it out. You got to wash it. You got to keep it clean. I mean, these trucks are not cheap. I know we didn't spend the money to buy them. The company did, but that's not the point. The point is, you were offered a beautiful, brand new truck. Why not take care of it? Why not keep it clean? Why not clean out the cab? Armor all the dashboard. Clean the floor. You know, why live like a pig? You know, take care of the equipment. I'm sure a garbage truck today runs anywhere from $300,000 to $350,000. So they're not cheap pieces of equipment. And you know, I was very happy to hear that uh, I was getting a brand new Peterbilt. I never had one before. And I take a lot of pride in what I drive. And I would like to start a program at work, honestly, and call it uh, Take Pride in Your Ride. You know, wash your truck, keep the interior clean, keep the cab clean. And I told my supervisor, maybe you should give out some kind of gift certificate at the end of the month or the end of the quarter and say, here, this is for you. Oh, what's this for? This is for keeping your truck clean, keeping the cab clean, and keeping it looking nice. So I thought that would be a great incentive for these guys to stay on it, keep it clean, keep it looking good. You know what I mean? I mean, that's just the way I am. I just like a clean truck. I don't 
don't want to be breathing in all that crap all day long. No, no I don't want to do that. So I know it's a garbage truck. Right, some people say, I'm telling you, a garbage truck. That's not the point. It's a $400,000 garbage truck. So keep it clean. Brother uh, in Ireland drives a beautiful Scania uh, truck, beautiful sleeper cab. You could eat your dinner off the floor, how clean the inside of that truck is. And you know why? He takes pride in his ride. He takes care of it. And that's how most guys should be when they're given a new truck, or any truck for that matter. New or old. Just like I always said before, you're not only representing, you know, IWS or whatever company you work for, you're representing yourself. You know what I mean? And your attitude towards your customers. You gotta treat customers with respect because honestly they're the one that's paying, they're the ones that are paying the bill. When I see a customer, I always say, hey, good morning, how are you? You know, what's going on, you don't need to have a whole conversation. Just be polite, just say, hey, how are you, have a nice day, whatever. You know, it just, it goes a long way. Because you're the one that's out here representing this company. And really, the last thing you want are complaints from the customers. So, you know, that's not going to sit too well. stop I'm doing right now is actually a country club, very expensive country club. Uh, this is not where I get married. This one is really, really expensive. I'm 
leave the PTO on, it cuts all power to the truck. So I don't know what's going on with that, but I already wrote it up. I told Ramon about it. So I don't know what's going on. I got to talk to that other driver. Uh, the guy that actually dumps in our yard. He got a brand new Pete the same time I picked up mine in Jersey City. I want to ask him if he's having any issues with his truck. You know, this way, you know, we could compare, you know what I mean? But it's, it's funny, man, you know, you think you have a new truck, and I really like it, it's a good truck, it packs good, it rides nice, it's a beautiful Peterbilt, but even new trucks got issues. This is something new I'm going to do every day. I've been doing it for a while. Shout out to one of my subscribers over there in England. The name of his channel is called Truck and Rubbish. Truck and Rubbish. What's going on, my friend? Hope you're doing all right. It's good to hear from you the other day. Uh, keep in touch, man. Keep in touch. That's what I like to do. I like to give a shout out to a subscriber every day. So now we're on our way to another restaurant. A lot of restaurants. I do a lot of restaurants on my route. On my route. Uh, I do a lot of schools. I do a lot of BPWs. It's a, you know, it's, it's busy. It's a busy route. Even though, like I said before this morning on an earlier video. By the way, I posted a video already, guys. It should be already up. Uh, I said this morning that even though this Tuesday round has less stops than the Monday round, uh, this round is actually more spread out than the, than the Monday round. I don't do as much traveling as I do on, on Monday round as I do on this round. So I 
posted on my community page, uh, was it yesterday or the day before, that my Riding Along With Dan YouTube channel uh, reached 200,000 views. And that's something I'm very proud of, man. That's really cool that 200,000 people actually decided to view my channel. And that's, that's pretty neat. I never thought I would do that, but that's cool. That really is. And now I'm up to 800 and something subscribers. That's pretty damn good too, man. I started this channel actually a year ago, a little over a year ago. So I'm doing pretty good, thanks to you guys. So here's a restaurant I was telling you about. It's an Italian, Italian restaurant. container and I have it up there dumping it, it makes a lot less noise than a metal container. Number three, a plastic container does not rot, a metal container does. Number two, or is that number four? I forget. But, uh, the other thing is, they're easier to move even when they're loaded. The plastic containers, I love them. I'm switching out all my metal containers that I have to touch, that I have to roll out to the truck. I'm switching them all out to plastic. And uh, makes it much easier for me. But like I said, the other, the other, even loaded, the plastic containers are easier to move, even when they're loaded, and uh, I like them so much better. And the other thing is, with the plastic, they don't, they really don't smell as bad as the metal containers. They really don't. And the metal containers, it's very easy to break a wheel, because a metal container is so much heavier even when it's empty, it's so much heavier than a plastic container. And all these, all this weight is sitting on those four little wheels. Even when it's empty, it's empty. So there's a lot of pluses to the plastic container. Uh, my boss told me they're going to be, uh, they're going to be uh, buying more of the plastic and 
the containing set of metal that I drive up to, I'm not even worried about that. They can just stay, stay the way they are. It's the containers that I gotta pull out of the alleyway or that I gotta push to the truck. It makes it uh, that much easier, even in the bad weather. It makes it that much easier, it really does. Red light, red light, red light. Now usually now when I sit at a red light, I take it out of gear, turn the PTO on, I pack up the load. But yeah, those are the big pluses of having plastic containers versus metal containers. And uh, they're much easier to move around, whereas a metal container, it's horrible, it's a pain in the neck. You got to put a lot more effort into moving a metal container. Whereas the plastics, it's just night and day difference, it really is. So that's the other thing I wanted to talk about was metal and plastic. So we did that. We talked about my YouTube channel and we talked about what a wonderful day today is. So uh, if you guys have any questions at all, please comment in the comments. Let me know what you want to talk about. Let me know what videos you would like to see. I'm trying to get up there to get some hopper footage. Every day there's always something going on. So let me see if I can do it later today. Seeing as it's a very nice day out.
Walkers.